I standing next to right now? Nasia Lacey. Nasia Lacey. Yes. 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 What a gorgeous name. Oh, Nasia. Mm-hmm. So you just finished watching the final two episodes of Motown Maurice's docu-series, mm-hmm. Audacity of Host. Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on the episodes that you've seen so far? Um, I thought they were, they were, they were hilarious. They were very entertaining. Um, I think that that Motel Maurice, like, he does, like, a very good job of just entertaining folks, you know? Um, just from my personal experience with him, like, I, I, I don't know. I think he's, he's a great guy, you know? I think he could definitely um, do the whole talk show host thing and take it to another level, you know? Very interesting. So... Did you have any thoughts about this docu series before you came here? Did you know anything about it? Um, not too much. I know we, um, I saw some of his past um, docu series or his past shows, and so I wanted to actually see what his uh, docu series was going to be. So it was like, oh, he's very excited about it. So I was excited to see it as well. And how do you know Motown? I met him at a film festival maybe a few weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about you. So you met him at a film festival. You're here watching a docu series. You've seen some of his work before. Mm-hmm. Tell us more about who you are. Well, I'm a s- screenwriter as well. So that makes sense. <laughs> I figured. Okay, screenwriter. Anything yeah. else about yourself? Um, screenwriter, actor, just all around good person <laughs> okay <Yeah. laughs> so you're a screenwriter yeah. you're an actor and an yeah. all-around good person yeah. you mentioned uh that motown you think he's going to be a good host in late night right yeah tell me about the entertainment industry why do you think that motown hasn't quite gotten that job yet you know what i'm not too sure i know it's it's all about who you know i think um I'm not really too sure, but I know it's about all who you know. Mm-hmm. Also, I think there's there's a spot for him definitely from just from watching late like TV shows, seeing like the different like Jimmy Kimball and Conan, even uh, Trevor yeah, Noah. Trevor I Noah. think he would fit in perfectly, yeah. especially like his entire background, his his knowledge of like history, cares about the black community. He's also very funny. Mm-hmm. I think he will fit in definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Are you working on any projects right now? Yeah, I have a couple of things I'm working on right now. I have my own limited TV, TV series that I'm working on. Okay. It's like loosely based off my life. Okay. Also, I have a short story that I'm going to produce pretty okay. soon and other projects too. So, yeah. Okay, one last question before yeah. you leave. So, Motown actually had an influence mm-hmm. when it comes to this docuseries, and it was to completely capture his Haitian culture. Mm-hmm. Did you get a feel for that when you viewed the screening? I did. I definitely did. You're not of Haitian descent, are you? I am not. <laughs> okay, cool. So, how do you think Haitian culture has influenced our life today as black people living in America? Do you think there's an influence? Um... I, there definitely is. There definitely is an influence, especially when it comes like to music. Mm-hmm. You definitely hear it in the music, different um, different beats. Um, but I think there could be more of an influence. Mm. Okay, so thank you so much. I yeah. can't wait to see what you do next. And for anyone that's going to see this, where can we find you? You can find me on IG, um, Nas Libra. Okay, spell it out for us. N A S. Than the Libra. <laughs> Are you a Libra? I am. <laughs> you give in- energy. Libra energy. I'm not a Libra, but I sense it. Libras are cool people. All right, cool. So everyone, you know where to find us. Yeah. Have a good one. Thanks Thank for you. To us. No Bye.